again. Now, in the third video, we'll see what is the lattice of all topologies on a set X. Let's move into this video. Let's start with a question in the section of topology in order to give a recap. The question is going like this. Let X be an arbitrary set and we are given with two topologies, toe one and toe two on the same set X. The question is, are toe one intersection toe two and toe one union toe two topologies on the set X? So if they are topologies, you will have to prove how they become the topology. If not, you will have to find counter examples in order to prove or disprove it. Now, let's be illustrative now with an example. Let X be the two element set A comma B. So you have already seen that this set X will have four topologies. The first being the indiscrete topology, which is the null set phi and the whole set X. Then you have the discrete topology, which is nothing but the null set phi, the singleton set A, the singleton set B, and then the set AB, which is the X itself. And note that this is the power set of X. Okay. And then you had a topology, let's call it toe one, which is the null set phi, the singleton set A, and the whole set X. And then you have another topology called it toe two, which is set, the null set phi, the singleton set B, and X. So you are having four topologies here. Now what you are going to do is, let chi be the set of all topologies on X is equal to set AB. That means, Chi is equal to toe indiscrete, toe discrete, and then toe one and toe two. Okay. Now consider the binary relation. less than or equal to, to be the inclusion subset of on the set chi. You can see that the inclusion satisfies reflexivity Anti-symmetricity and transitivity on the set chi, which will mean that the set chi along with the subset inclusion is a four set. So when this becomes a four set, a natural question is, will it become a lattice? The answer is 
Yes. And it follows from the following has a diagram. So our diagram will be the indiscrete topology will be sitting here. Okay, that is two indiscrete. And then you have the discrete topology to be sitting here. And then you have to one to sit here. And to two to sit here. Okay. And I am saying the indiscrete topology lies inside to one. The indiscrete topology lies inside to two. To one lies inside the discrete topology. To two lies inside the discrete topology. So this is the lattice diagram or the Hase diagram of the set of all topologies having the partially ordered partial order the inclusion and this definitely is forming a lattice structure as you can see for every two element set of the set of all topologies on x is equal to the two element set there is an infimum as well as a supremum you can see that this is tau 1 and this is tau 2, right? So, tau 1 and tau 2 has the infimum to be the discrete topology and the supremum to be the... Uh, the infimum to be the indiscrete topology and the supremum to be the discrete topology. And every other will follow. Okay, that means the lattice structure is preserved here. Since for every two topologies in Chi, there exists a supremum and infimum, we are getting of lattice structure for the same. And here you can note that for every topology to y and topology to j, their infimum is happening to be to i intersection to j. And in this example, the supremum of to i and to j seems to be to i union to j. But it is not. It is not Toi union Toj. This happens in this example but generally we can say that this doesn't happen. So in general you have to analyze and find out that toi join toj, that is the supremum of toi and toj is nothing but the smallest topology on X which contains both the topology to i as well as the topology to j. Okay. Now, in order to analyze this, you have a question 6 to work on. Construct the Hase diagram
for the lattice chi of all topologies on the set x which is the three element set a comma b comma c and analyze the fact that to i join to j the supremum of two arbitrary topologies on chi is equal to the smallest topology on x which contains both to i and to j also do analyze that to i meet to j that is the infimum of to i and to j is nothing but to i intersection to j so that was question 6 so in order to wind up you can say that the set of all topologies on a set x together with the partial ordering relation inclusion forms a lattice so here we had just seen about finite sets and their topologies the same aspect is true for all infinite sets and their topologies now as an additional info we are just giving an intro to what are homeomorphisms let x to and y nu be two topological spaces a map f from the set x to the set y is called a continuous map in the subject topology if for every set v that belongs to the topology nu in y we have the set f inverse of v belongs to to which is the topology in x also a map f from x to y is called by continuous if one f is continuous continuous two for every u for every set u that belongs to to which is a topology in x we have f of u will belong to the set f of u will belong to the topology nu in v nu in y and the next definition is a map f from x to y is called 
a homeomorphism in the area of topology if the function is bicontinuous and 1 1 and 1 2 that is it is a bijection so generally you can call a homeomorphism to be a bicontinuous bijection and we had c when we were comparing the squishy rubbishy geometry and topology as the deformations to a common man mathematically is called as homeomorphisms in topology. Thank you for being with us on day 7 in NAPM 2020 at SHC. Hope you got a brief introduction of topology as well as lattice theory. Please go through the assignment set in the quiz for today. So thank you and best wishes to all of you.